Hi friends, welcome to the Upper Limit Breakthrough Group. I'm honored and grateful to be spending this next 30 days with you in this space. As you embark on implementing some new habits and skills that will help you in creating a more successful life. Now, the information in this group, the habits that we're going to be implementing are not my own. I have adopted them and implemented them into my own life from Tiffany Peterson, my personal business coach, as well as the work from Gay Hendricks, whose book we'll be reading, The Big Weep. And I also adopt a few principles from Carol Tuttle and Jeanette Ma. Now, what's exciting, and it's actually quite significant, it's simple and difficult all at the same time is there is a huge difference between what successful people and non-successful think. And it really boils down to habits. It's not just the habits they do, it's also the habits that you think. So over the next 30 days, we're going to use these resources to help you create better habits in your thinking. And hopefully, by the end of 30 days, you will have adopted some great new habits to support you in creating more success. Now, the material here is profound, it's exciting, and it has helped thousands and thousands of people achieve better life and to pretty much live in their zone of genius all of the time. Now, you are worthy, you are deserving, and I'm so grateful to share in this ride with you. A quick overview of the habits that you'll be implementing. After and while you're reading The Big Leap, I invite you to really internalize the teachings in that book. We're going to be going over the zones of genius, excellence, competence, and incompetence, and you're going to be able to define what limit you come up against every time you try to be successful. And then you're going to learn how to identify on a daily basis the thought patterns that are keeping you stuck or bringing you back down into a zone of excellence and not allowing you to achieve your zone of genius on a regular basis. Now, there's a lot of thinking involved, so you need to be willing to do the work. We're presenting this space, and it's great work. The second thing that you're going to be doing on a daily basis is the mirror exercise. Two times a day, you're going to look yourself in the eyes, in the mirror, and you're going to say things to help reprogram the thought patterns in your brain. You're going to be saying, I am enough. I am worthy and deserving. I allow myself to receive. I expand in abundance, love, and success every day as I inspire those around me to do the same. And you may have a few other things that you would like to add to your mirror exor exercise, including I love you, I am learning to forgive myself. We'll go into more details on the mirror exercise as well as the challenge progresses. The third thing you're going to be working on is pray rain journaling. This is a technique established by Jeanette Ma, and the link is on our Facebook page under the documents. Now, Jeanette Ma has created this fantastic system of journaling a page every day. You're going to start with a new journal, and in Pray Rain Journaling, you're going to write your entry as though what you want has already happened. Go into detail of how things feel. If it's a car that you want, what does it smell like when you sit in the driver's seat? What is the handle like? What does it feel like to open the door? I'm going to use this opportunity on a daily basis to journal and create the life and the goals that you want to have. And the fourth thing that I invite you to do is to um, participate in a five-minute daily meditation. My favorite is the Heart Guide Meditation that Tiffany Peterson has produced. The link is also on our website or our Facebook page. Now, as you continue on these daily habits and you massively up-level your self-care, I hope that you will find it in your heart to remember how wonderful you are, that you are worthy and deserving. And this comfort zone that we keep pushing ourselves back into really isn't that comfortable. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Habits create results. And the habits that you have already been doing day in, day out, are creating the life that you're currently living. If it's not the life that you want, then we simply need to replace those habits with new habits. 
and I'm excited that this could be one platform to support you in achieving that. Successful people have great mindset. Mindset of moving forward, of seeking out the answers when they don't have them, never giving up. And I'm grateful that, that you're here to practice these things as we reprogram what goes on between your brain because you are successful. I find it, like I said, ironic, right? The, that comfort zone is where we keep going back to, but we're usually not comfortable there. We want so much more and you deserve more. So I'm grateful that you're here and let's move forward together. I invite you to visit this page on a daily basis to glean any new insights and to write in, post in any concerns that you come up against. We're here to support you in this challenge.